Hey everybody, it's Jordan from don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com here to discuss this year's Heisman Trophy race. It's obviously down to a, uh, to a photo finish this Saturday night. There will be a Heisman Trophy awarded to one of five uh, well-deserving finalists. Uh, in case you haven't seen, the five finalists are Andrew Luck from Stanford, Robert Griffin III from Baylor, uh, Monty Ball from Wisconsin, Trent Richardson from Alabama, and Teron Matthew from LSU. Um, you know, in terms of who should win, it depends on kind of the way you vote for this. If you look back to 1998 and 99 in that time period, uh, there, there was a couple of interesting uh, Heisman Trophy races that were that were interesting to see. Um, you know, Charles Woodson uh, beat out Peyton Manning for the Heisman Trophy, I, I believe, and I, I should probably fact check this, but I, I believe it was 1998. It was either 97 or 98 race. I can't remember which one it was. Um, you know, and obviously the flashy. Uh, highlight reel player in Charles Woodson, even he, even though he played defense at cornerback, was able to take was able to overtake uh, Peyton Manning and win the Heisman Trophy. Even though Peyton Manning was you know one of the great college quarterbacks of that era, um, you, you look a year or two later and uh, the Heisman Trophy goes to a guy like Ron Dane, who broke the uh, the career rushing record uh, for for NCAA Division One college football. You know, kind of more of a career achievement, but it was never really the the big hit. Didn't have you know a big highlight film. Uh, wasn't a very flashy player. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this year's race plays out, kind of like those two did. Um, you know, if you're looking for the highlights, you know, a guy with a great highlight reel, obviously Teron Matthew is your guy. He's made a ton of huge plays this year on special teams and punt returns, stripping footballs on defense, uh, returning uh, fumbles on defense, uh, you know, making interceptions, all those things. He has definitely the highlight reel to uh, contend for the Heisman. That, Another guy that has that same kind of resume is Robert Griffin, the quarterback from Baylor. He's made all the big throws. Uh, Baylor, for the first time in history, beat Oklahoma this year. So obviously that means for the first time ever they were able to defeat Oklahoma and Texas uh, in the same season. You know, both of those games that they won were shootouts. Uh, you know, they're scoring tons of points. He's standing in the pocket making tons of big throws. He makes the plays with his arms. Just an absolute electric football player. Uh, then you have a guy like Andrew Luck. You know, he's just been a steady guy, kind of a lot like Peyton Manning. A lot of people, you know, compare him to Peyton Manning, who's just, you know, been an outstanding quarterback the last couple of years at Stanford. Uh, doesn't really have the highlight reel to show and uh, really doesn't have the huge stats like a Case Keenum did, who didn't even make the finals, um, you know, to, to, to make that, you know, wow resume. Uh, so, you know, for him, he's more of a long the career achievement uh, type player. Uh, you got Trent Richardson, again, who has just been solid all year long you know if you look at the big games the best games even against LSU such a great defense uh, you know Trent Richardson had over 80 yards rushing and had over 80 yards receiving uh, you know nobody else has done that in terms of yardage against LSU this year uh, Monty Ball you know if anybody is a stats guy then Monty Ball certainly pops out to you in the fact that he's got 38 touchdowns uh, 34 rushing four receiving has a chance uh, in the bowl game to break Barry Sanders' single-season touchdown record with 39. All he needs is two more uh, touchdowns in the Rose Bowl, and he would uh, he would break the record. So, you know, in the five candidates, you have kind of a wide variety of certain players. Uh, you know, you got your stats guys, you got your wow guys, you got your career guys. You know, all, all of those guys, you know, fit a certain bill. Now, here's what you have to determine if you were a voter or as you're thinking about who you think should win the Heisman. You know, if you look at a Heisman ballot, it says the most outstanding player in college football is one blank, two blank, three blank. You have to determine who you think and what you value is most outstanding. All right, to me, I value the wild guys as being outstanding football players. Um, you know, it, it's if you look at the highlight reels this year, obviously to me the two guys that stick out the most is just being completely outstanding and just totally valuable to their team certainly are Robert Griffin and Teron Matthew. Uh, Teron Matthew's made all the big plays, you know, and, and, and you know, everybody talks about the Honey Badger, and there's videos all over YouTube and, and, and the Internet that will, uh, you know, show his exploits as a defensive player. You know, Teron Matthew is, is an excellent football player. He is outstanding, probably, you know, the best, the best defensive football player in the country. You know, to me, that's outstanding. Robert Griffin, what he has done is absolutely outstanding at Baylor. He's taken a program that was on the edge of, of irrelevance and brought them back to the national forefront. Um, you know, and, and really, you know, he's got some pieces around him. Mark Bryles has done a great job, but all in all, to me, Robert Griffin 
you know, exemplifies all the good things about college football. You know, he's exciting, he's explosive, he's fun to watch, he's a great leader. Uh, you know, to me, he is outstanding. He has absolutely carried that program. You know, you got your, your other guys that we discussed earlier. Uh, to me, if I had to vote today for the Heisman Trophy, uh, my number three guy uh, would have to be Trent Richardson. And, and, and the reason I would vote him third would be just for his, uh, you know, his great displays, even against good football teams that they play. Uh, he's always been solid. He's consistent. You can always count on Trent Richardson uh, to make big plays in big spots. Uh, to me, secondly, I think Teron Matthew uh, is definitely uh, one of those guys that could win the Heisman. I think he's an underdog pick uh, just because, you know, it hasn't been since Charles Woodson that the defensive player has won the Heisman. So, you know, he's certainly the underdog, but I think in terms of outstanding, you know, he has been, you know, incredible this year. And lastly, to me, my first pick, my guy to win the Heisman is Robert Griffin III. I think, yeah, again, he exemplifies all that's right about college football. He turned down major universities to go play and be a piece in their program and instead decided to go to a program and, and, and put his face and his legacy in that program forever. Uh, you know, Robert Griffin has done everything the right way. Uh, you know, he's got the explosive plays. He's the highlight real guy. I think without a doubt to me, he is the most outstanding football player in the country this year. So again, to wrap it up, number three, Trent Richardson. Number two, Teron Matthew. Number one, Robert Griffin. That's my vote for Heisman. Tell me what you think. You can always drop comments in the comment box below. And always